There was a lot of uh, anticipation and excitement leading up to the last election. There was a buzz uh, in the communities across the province. There was a sense of change and that, that things were about to change. People were starting to finally see that there was uh, another option. We just kept believing that we could win if we worked hard enough. And that that option um, was the NDP. I think Nova Scotians, uh, you know, for 250 years had had the same type of government. It was Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and they pretty well ran the province uh, as they wished. I think they were looking for a government that actually looked through a lens of what it was that their families were experiencing. They were tired of the whole political systems where people make promises and never, never uh, completed them. I was watching the results come in with my mother and with some old school friends. We were in our sunroom watching uh, television. We were at Boondocks in Eastern Passage. Uh, I had to keep leaving the TV to talk to people. I actually had to run upstairs <laughs> and be by myself. The good part of it I was coming and then one part I, I got ahead and stayed there. I heard this huge scream downstairs. And we looked at the, at the broader coverage and thought, you know, holy shit, we've got, uh, you know, we formed the, uh, the, the government and, uh, and uh, she's got that. The headlines, he called it the Orange Crush, uh, the caption on the newspaper, and I was um, delighted. So it, was a, it was a very exciting night. It was a very wonderful night. They had spent um, every cent of offshore oil and gas royalties that had come through the door. A lot of public policy was done. To, to benefit, you know, the members of the party and not so much uh, the greater good of the province. Pretty much at the time we got elected, we entered a, a worldwide recession, and a fairly significant one, and that's not an excuse, it's just a fact. To say that we came in with, uh, with dire circumstances, I, I think does not uh, overstate it, um, and, and to our credit, but, but largely unknown to the people of Nova Scotia is, of course, the fact that they felt very little of that. We didn't lay people off. We tried to maintain standards of employment. We look at our neighbor in New Brunswick, and they laid off 400 health care workers the other day. That's not the route we want to go. We didn't see the necessity to treat the public service or to treat labor unions or working people as enemies. We, we saw them as partners. As a government, we have come in with looking at a vision. We're not band-aiding along the way. We're really looking at the big picture 10, 15, 20, 30 years out and making uh, very measured steps to get there. Whether it's the first housing strategy in the province of Nova Scotia, whether it's the first mental health strategy in the province. You just need to go to Parisboro and ask the people in that community uh, how they feel about the collaborative emergency centers. Three of the biggest road paving uh, and road work budgets ever in the history of the province. That people don't pay tax on their energy. Getting decent funding for women's centers across the province. Bullying and uh, addictions. Fifty major accomplishments in four short years that the NDP has uh, developed and created and, and started to implement. We have had four years of opportunity to sort of set the stage of some significant change, but we now have to be uh, afforded the opportunity to, to pursue that change and to achieve those goals. I truly believe that we're in the right direction and we're on the edge of turning a corner. We have a very bright future with the NDP, there is no question at all, and we must make sure that Nova Scotians understand that and continue to support us. What's at stake? is turning back the clock. I believe the next election is even more important than the last one because this is the great question that will be set before the people of Nova Scotia. Do we want to go back to how things were or do we want to move forward and really lead, I think, the country uh, in, in progress? We offer uh, you know, a, a platform that's responsible, that's balanced, that's sensible, and we have a team of people and a leader who can actually help do it. I saw that the NDP was the key to a better future for this province and still is the key to that better future.